Hello again, um, and welcome to my channel. Um, this is going to be my first video um, along the lines of my tips and tricks um, that I would like to share with you. Um, and I am by nature a bargain hunter. Um, I coupon. Uh, my last grocery trip, I saved $50 with coupons. Um, I got a tub of butter for 29 cents. Um, I got uh, soda, two liters for a dollar a piece that are normally two two dollars and something cents. Um, you can get really good deals from couponing. Um, I suggest going to coupons.com, uh, and there's several other networks like uh, mommysavesbig.com uh, along the lines of couponing. But anyway, um, I'm very big on repurposing things. Um, and this is one of the things that I repurpose, um, and that is jars. Um, the first type of jar that I really love are baby food jars. Um, here's one with the label still on it. Um, this is the small form. Um, I also have a couple... Uh, large ones that I haven't used yet um, and these are awesome for storing things um, such as herbs um, I like to just take masking tape um, and label them with whatever's in it this one's got um, dried orange peels uh, these orange peel I use in uh, incense and, and things like that uh, potpourri's dream pillows everything of the sort uh, make oils out of it things like that um, but with the baby food jars, all you have to do um, is uh, to get the labels off. Um, I usually just peel the label off as much as I can get off. Um, let me see if I can do this. I just peel off a little piece of it, and then the rest of it will just come right off. Um, and then there's these little, um, I don't know if you can see them or not, but they're little glue strips. Um, and to get those off, I'll either use uh, Goo Gone is really good for it. Um, there's a cleaner called LA's Totally Awesome, uh, and if you just use it completely straight, it's really strong, but it'll take it off. Um, if you don't want to use chemicals, you can just put these in a pot of boiling water. Uh, take the lids off and separate them. Uh, this will also get the smell out of them from the baby food, which you don't really want getting into your herbs um, or whatever you're going to put in them, candles or anything. Um, and just pop them in a pot of boiling water, let them boil for about... I don't know, 60 seconds to uh, two minutes, um, a minute or two, and uh, they should come right off with a, a Brillo pad, uh, the little copper scouring pads or whatever, um, and they work perfectly. Um, I've got, I showed you the one I put my herbs in. Uh, this one is actually a salve that I made. Um, it's got uh, St. John's wort, calendula flowers, um, and lavender, um, and it's for... Um, dry feet, uh, cracking skin and things like that, blisters. Um, it works great. I just made it in the pot and then poured it right in here and let it uh, solidify. I have also made candles out of these that make great gift sets. Um, you just melt your wax and put your your flavored oils and your, uh, your colorings in there. Um, pour the wax in uh, and then put your wick in. Uh, once it's about halfway cool to put your wick in um, and then it's going to pit which means there's going to be a dip in the actual top of it um, and then you want to pour more wax in um, and if it dips once it's dry again pour more wax in until it, it creates a flat surface um, and then what I like to do is I like to paint the tops of them um, with a paint that will stick to metal um, or you can attach ribbons you can do stickers you can do anything you want to decorate the top of this you can tie ribbons around the edge you can put a label on it if you want to um, and make little candle gift sets out of them um, but the way to get them uh, I used to work at a daycare that's where I got mine and they would they would use probably 30 a day and just throw them away um, so I asked her to save me um, every Friday to save the bottles uh, so I'd get about 30 uh, in one day um, I just asked her for one a week um, and then I accumulated probably about a hundred of them over the, the time that I uh, I asked her and then the time that I quit actually probably more than that uh, I actually gave I made a lot of candles and gave them away uh, for birthdays and things like that um, so I've used probably half of them now um, but that's what I use those for. Um, I'll also take, and uh, this was a jar that I got for Christmas with some hot chocolate in it from a, one of the children that I taught. Um, it's just a, an old jar. Um, and actually, this is filled with water that I collected during a thunderstorm. Um, I, I like to use storm water. Some people say it goes bad after three days. Um, 
I've never had an issue with it. Um, if I do feel that the water has lost its its spark or whatever it is, I'll just uh, I use it to water my plants. So I have this storm water, very powerful energies in that. Um, this is an old salsa jar uh, that I have some old wax in it. Uh, if you buy candles, um, the wax that drips off of them, uh, you can break it off um, and save it. Um, and then that little tiny bit that's left um, after you are done with the candle, you can heat that jar up and liquefy the wax and then pour it into another container or into an ice cube tray and bust the, the block out and put it in a jar and save it. And then you can reuse this wax um, and remelt it into another candle. I've probably got enough here to make a, a pretty large boat of candle, um, just out of one that I got for free, actually. Um, this is an old salsa jar again. Uh, I've got some basil in that because I had too much to fit in a baby jar. Uh, I use basil in a lot of things, cooking and a lot of uh, spell work and ritual. Um, and then I also have these jars, which um, I found at the Family Dollar. Um, I paid a dollar a piece for these. Um, and they actually have um, these, uh, they're sealed, they're for canning and things like that. Um, but I like to use them for herbs because they're small. Um, paid a dollar piece for those. This has some St. John's wort and I've taken the, the label off of the package and stuck it on there because it says uh, what it's used for, what planet it is, uh, the astrological sign and things like that. Um, so those are my jars. Um, I'll show you my herb cabinet where I keep all my jars. Um, let's see if I can pick you up. Do, do, do. Here is my herb cabinet. And actually I got this cabinet um, from a neighbor who was going to throw it away. Um, and now I keep, uh, I keep some medicines in the bottom of it. Um, I don't typically like to use a lot of medicines. I'm really big into herbal remedies, but I've got the Tylenol and things like that, prescriptions in there, sunscreen, heart burn remedies and things like that. Um, and then I have all my herbs. I've got some of them in baggies, but most of them are in those little baby food jars. Um, and they're perfect for storage. Um, I've got some more jars up there that I've collected. Um, so yeah, um, tip number one is baby food jars and old food jars. Um, anybody that you know that has a baby, um, ask them to save the jars. Um, if you want to, tell them for every ten bottles you'll pay them a dollar or for every twenty bottles you'll pay them a dollar or whatever um, that's still cheaper than buying the actual baby food yourself um, and as for jars reuse them pasta jars uh, pasta sauce salsa um, salad dressing uh, anything that comes in a glass jar that has a lid um, just clean out the jar boil it sanitize it um, and use it for whatever you're gonna hold it uh, entirely free and uh, great storage so we'll see you next time blessed be